today Mufara after 10k maybe tired. <laughs> I am for a kick for 100 meters. No body for me. I am happy. This big champion. He is for many many people for Mufara. Like this today is for me. Congratulations. I'm very happy for you.
silver and bronze medals. In the gold medal position, we have Mr. Edris from Ethiopia. We have Mo Farrow from Great Britain in silver medal. And in bronze medal, we have Paul Kimoy Chalimo from the USA. Okay? We've got microphones around the room. If you'd like to ask a question, please raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. First question, please. Back, please. Well, Doug, congratulations on your victory. Can you tell us about the last kilometer and how the race went for you? Thank you. Uh, I was highly prepared to win him. So in the uh, last kilometers, I knew that I'm gonna win him. So I'm happy for my results. There are other questions for the medalist, please. Yes, a question at the back. Uh, Mukhtar, you did the Mawad after crossing the line. Just wondering what was the meaning of that, or was there any message you were trying to send? Uh, he already mentioned that uh, he's going to stop running, so uh, I feel that he's transferring the medal for us, so I just want to show him that I'm receiving, uh, the, uh, receiving the, the, like the winning spirit. That's why uh, I did it, and I just want to show him respect for him as well. Other questions? Yes? Mo, can you talk us through... Hold on, could you speak to the mic, sir? Mo, can you talk us through that last lap for yourself, really, and how it's quite for you? And can you just give us maybe a little um, comment as well about the relay, the British relay race as well, if you, if you want? Okay. <clears throat> no, to be honest, um, tonight would have been nice to be able to win on my hometown, but better than one on the, on the day, and um, that's what it takes. Uh, going into last lap, I'd normally be in the front, but at that point I was feeling a bit tired and saw Kajelsha go, so I tried to follow Kajelsha. But Kajelsha went so hard, I was thinking, I don't think he's going to keep that pace going. And then obviously, you know, um, Kajelsha, Idris, and the other guy always had a game plan and um, the aim, I think, as it, as you showed tonight, is to be able to have Mukhtar as much, uh, do as less work as possible and let the other guy sacrifice. And that's what it takes to beat me and you know, better man one day. And you've got to congratulate him because over the years, you know, I've been winning and lucky to be able to have that long career I have and, and we show anything is possible. And going back from the relay tonight, um, if you had to go down to Betty's and bet some money on it, who would win? You would never thought Great Britain would beat Jamaica, USA. So it shows anything is possible. And one side of me, as I look across, I saw Bob on the ground and then I saw Great Britain winning and I didn't know whether to celebrate or not, because um, is it, it was a sad, obviously, seeing the same boat injured, um, no one wants to see that. It would have been nice to see, obviously, in perfect note, him to come win, and then win the relay. Um, but it shows anything is possible, anything can happen. And, and as much as you say, oh, Mo's going to win every year, it doesn't always work that way. Does it, does it show also that, that you... Does this show also that it's tough for any athlete, any sportsman to decide when to bow out? And are you entirely happy with the way you bowed out as, as a, a major, a major track athlete? Just in hindsight, you got it right. Yeah, no. If I had the perfect scrutiny for the book and said to myself, it would have been nice to end with a double double and, and have Mukhtar no beating me tonight. But anything is possible. Better man one on day. He's well prepared, and, and at some point, you know, in life. 
some point it will have to come to end and in my career I always told, told myself that London's where it started and it's London's where it's going to stop. I decided when we got the World Champs, I was like, mate, it'd be amazing to be able to, to think that's where it started. I was known as Mo, uh, normal Mo, and then overnight after London, I was like, Mo, couldn't go anywhere. And it's, it's been incredible and to just finish here. Um, it, it's, it's a nice thing, I think, and I just want to say, Thank you for Mukhtar, uh, who did the celebration part of respect, as he says. And that's what the sports is about, so showing respect to one another and so get on with it. And now uh, I've trained in Ethiopia, trained in Kenya. And, you know, these guys, over the years, we fought long distance. We're never going to beat Africans. The Africans are too good. We're never going to beat them. That's what always the theory was about. Till I lived with the Kenyans, trained in Ethiopia, trained in Kenya, and seen them what they're doing. Thanks to Heidi, Kennedy, and, and so many other great athletes who've shown us the path, how, the, how, how it's done. And um, you know, the other guys in the motorway, and Paul Turga, another one. There are so many legends, um, you know, and it's important that we leave legacy behind and leave it to the younger kids and think it's possible. It's possible. We can get that one day. We can achieve. Uh, over the years, we thought, oh, I can't do it. And uh, I think it shows that tonight anything is possible. So just Paul, before the race, you did the mole on the camera and, and ran your your hand across your neck. Just what was the meaning of that? Was the job was the arrow and mole back? You know? <laughs> yeah, uh, I was just looking for a guest here, you know. I just wanted to sincerely, I didn't have any guest yet today to do, you know. So I was like, why not do the mole and do this to make it tell him like it's gonna be. I'm gonna make make it hard for you today, you know. And uh, I respect more a lot, you know? I respect more a lot. I can't say that, I can't even, I just, I just, I wish more would still be here, but I just respect him a lot. This is the person that has made me walk out this year. All the times that I'm, I'm running, like all the good times. Every time I wake up every day, I have to think about more. And I'm serious, I stalk him every time and see what he does and try to make, to make myself better, you know? Now Mo is living, and two years ago, two years ago, Mo, I was running like 2013, 20, 2015, the previous World Championships. I was running that 13 titles, you know? And just being close to Mo in Portland, Oregon, was just amazing, you know? When I got to Portland, Oregon, the first person I took a picture with was Mo. You know, I respect Mo a lot, and I'm taking over from Mo, you know? I won't disappoint you, Mo. That's how you see the mobile. Yeah, <laughs> so I won't disappoint you more. Anytime I go to the new races, I do it for more, you know, so. Uh, any other questions? Yeah.
But if we uh, arrive to the finishing area, we will struggle to take the goal. So as we planned, though we couldn't take the other meters, but we got the gold meter, so we won't keep. Questions, gentlemen, at the back, please. Yeah, for Mukhtar. So, are you saying that you guys planned that Kajelka would would take it 400 meters to go and tie her mow out, and then you would come in and win? That that was the plan for you guys just to get the gold? Amazing to be able to achieve what we have achieved for the relay. Um, as I said, who would have thought we would be such as you know USA, Jamaica, and I think there's a lot of stronger teams. And as a, as a young team to be able to win that gold medal tonight was pretty. It was pretty amazing. And like Jamie and and there's other other youngsters too. And you know to finish fourth in, in the 200 meters and then come out and we had the final leg. He had a lot of responsibility. And, just want to say definitely congratulations to them, and I just try and be myself and in a team hotel, and when I'm with the team and just chill out and play people with him <laughs> and just be normal. Because um, as I said, if you just be yourself, then that's who we are. There's no point trying to be changed. What you're not, and uh, at the same time, it's like we've got a lot of youngsters, and it's nice to see they come away with that result tonight. And are you pleased that that sort of ruthless attitude has, has sort of transformed into the into the British team? Yeah, when that, that was amazing. Over the years, obviously, you know, there's a lot of talk of British, um, the relay and not working as hard, and, and they have changed their attitude and they work hard, and, and it just shows, you know, they wouldn't achieve what they have achieved tonight if they did work hard and, and practice. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll have one last question, and then I'm afraid we have to go on to uh, the four other press conferences this evening. Hi, Daniel Jumandi, African Sports Monthly. Congratulations to all you medalists. My question is for Mo Farah. Could you please 
tell me what sort of shape were you going into the race today? <laughs> um, I honestly thought I was recovered from the 10k. Um, I, I, my legs were a lot better. I felt didn't feel great in the heat uh, when I ran in the heat to qualify. And then from there, I just had to rest up, recover. Um, but in honest, in honesty, uh, I didn't know what kind of shape. I knew tactically it's going to come down to the last five laps. I just didn't see anyone, anybody would do anything crazy. Um, if you would have asked me a week ago what kind of shape I am, in, I would have said definitely in sub what 26 foot, uh, 26 40 inch shape. And, and but okay, I would have said I'm definitely capable of running close to passing the best. But obviously, I've had a week in between and end up doing 50 laps around the track, so it's hard to think what kind of shape I am. Uh, I probably have to go back now and um, just get ready for the next couple of races. Okay, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome. Uh,